At the beginning of the computerized age, we stand at the edge of tremendous and unfamiliar regions, where the limits of probability are restricted exclusively by the extent of our creative minds. A every keystroke and snap across the scene of computerized wildernesses, wandering into domains where advancement tools and the seeds of tomorrow are planted. In this state of the art existence, innovation serves as a device and passes to domains of information and network before an unperturbable. At the core of our investigation lies a tireless quest for understanding and disclosure, a hunger for information that drives us at any point forward into the unexplored world. From the clamoring growth of the internet to the quiet breaths of computer-generated reality, we graph a course through the computerized ether, directed by the twin guides of interest and desire. However, in the power of revelation, we stay aware of the obligations that go with our excursion perceiving the significant effect of our activities on our general surroundings. As we live upon these urges into the advanced obscure, we do as such with lowliness and respect, aware of the open doors and difficulties that lie ahead in this consistently growing wilderness. In the domain of vivid conditions, our minds spread out like sails getting the breeze of unending chance. From rambling virtual scenes to unpredictably created actual spaces, we left on an excursion into domains where reality is entwined with dreams, obscuring the lines between the unmistakable and the immaterial. Inside these vivid universes, each sense was locked in, each corner and material ready to be investigated. Whether venturing into a carefully planned amusement park or wearing a computer-generated experience headset, members were moved to domains where the commonplace blurred into unimportance, supplanted by the excitement of the experience and the marvel of revelation. At the core of these vivid encounters lay an ensemble of plan and innovation, carefully organized to bring out feelings and mix the spirit. Draftsmen, fashioners and designers worked together as one, making conditions that dazzled the faculties and started the creative mind. From the unobtrusive interchange of light and shadow to the vivid soundscapes that encompassed members, each component was painstakingly adjusted to create a feeling of presence and submersion. Inside these captivated domains, Members became dynamic heroes in their own stories, their processes directed by the delicate hand of advancement and the unfathomable territory of human imagination. At the core of our innovative strategy lay a mess of motivation and trial and error, where thoughts streamed like waterways and creative minds had no limits. From the flash of an underlying idea to the last push stroke of acknowledgement, each step of our process was implanted with the soul of advancement and joint effort. In the quieted limits of our studios, craftsmen and visionaries merged, and their sights landed with the potential outcomes of what could be. Here, in this spot of imagination, we hoped against hope to push the limits of show and investigate the unfamiliar domains of creative articulation. With each stroke of the brush, every keystroke of the console, we set out on a journey of revelation, exploring the wild waters of motivation looking for the subtle dream. Through experimentation, emphasis and refinement, we shaped our dreams into substantial structures, revealing the ethereal murmurs of the creative mind. However, in the bedlam of creation, there existed a sensitive harmony among instinct and discipline, immediacy and construction. It was here, in this fragile dance of tumult and request, that the genuine speculative chemistry of imagination unfolded, birthing masterpieces that rose above the limits of the everyday and addressed the actual soul of humankind. In the overly complex halls of our creation studio, the enchantment of creation unfurled amid a hurricane of movement, stowed away from according to the crowd. Here in the background, an ensemble of joint effort and imagination worked out. Every individual from the group a crucial note in the piece of our aggregate vision. From the fastidious preparation of chiefs to the resolute endeavors of set fashioners and experts, each part of our creation was made with meticulous tender loving care, each prop and outfit pervaded with the embodiment of our narrating. During the controlled turmoil of practices and last-minute changes, kinship thrived, restricting us all together to weave a family joined by a common enthusiasm for our specialty. Behind the style of the stage or screen lay our universe of extended periods and difficult work, where the quest for flawlessness requested nothing not exactly resolute devotion and tenacious determination. However, in the peaceful minutes among takes and the common giggling over a hurriedly gotten dinner, we found comfort and strength in one another, drawing motivation from the information that, 
together we were fit for accomplishing significance. In the clamoring corridors of our examination office, the air murmured with the energy of mechanical progression, no place more substantially than in the domain of movement touch. With accuracy cameras following each nuanced development and sensors catching the subtlest of signals, we dug into the many-sided dance of human movement with a practically respectful intensity. Each flick of a wrist, each bit of a hip, was carefully recorded and investigated, opening a mother load of information that vowed to upset mentors from diversion to medical services. As the limits of movement catch innovation extended, so too did our creative mind, imagining a future where virtual symbols moved in ideal synchrony with their human partners, obscuring the lines between the real world and reproduction. With each mechanical forward leap, we crept nearer to accomplishing the tricky objective of genuine submersion, where our past universes became undefined from the unmistakable domain. However, in the confounding exhibit of conceivable outcomes, we remain grounded in our obligation to moral contemplations, perceiving the significant ramifications of our advancements in protection, ascent, and the actual idea of human association. 3D modeling is the foundation of digital creation in the field of computer-generated reality, allowing designers and artists to create complex and engrossing virtual environments. Creators can sculpt texture and animate three-dimensional objects with unmatched detail and precision because of the sophisticated software tools at their disposal. The options for expression are endless, fulfilling even the most vivid conceptions from gigantic structures to bizarre animals. Furthermore, 3D modeling finds useful uses outside of the entertainment industry, such as in the domains of engineering, architecture, product design, and advertising. Product development processes may be streamlined and ideas can be brought to market more quickly than ever before thanks to the power of digital prototyping which allows designers to easily visualize concepts and iterate on designs. The possibilities of 3D modeling will advance along with technology, opening the door to more interactive and immersive computer-generated reality experiences. The amazing power of algorithms is at the core of computer-generated reality, creating and sculpting the virtual worlds we explore. Virtual world designers are these intricate mathematical algorithms. They determine everything from character behavior to the finer points of physics and lighting. Algorithms give computer-generated surroundings life by including extensive code and calculation, giving them a sense of realism, intricacy, and beauty. Furthermore, algorithms have a more significant role than just aesthetics. They affect the fundamental structure of simulations and interactive experiences. Algorithmic technology has a wide range of possible uses in computer-generated reality, from complex AI algorithms that try sentient virtual characters to procedural generation techniques that produce enormous, constantly changing landscapes. Algorithms will continue to be at the forefront of innovation in this dynamic and quickly developing sector, influencing immersive digital experiences for future generations as academics push the boundaries of what's possible. With its unmatched degrees of immersion and involvement, interactive experiences in the field of computer-generated reality are revolutionizing how we interact with digital worlds. Through the exploration of imaginative environments, resolution of riddles, or participation in interactive storytelling, users are enabled to mold their storylines and establish distinct bonds with virtual realms. Computer-generated reality invites people to actively participate in their adventures by obfuscating the distinction between digital and physical realities through lifelike interactions and easy controls. Furthermore, interactive virtual reality experiences are useful instruments for social interaction, education, and discovery in addition to being just for fun. These experiences encourage creativity, critical thinking, and empathy. They range from instructional simulations that bring historical events to life to collaborative virtual worlds where users may interact and speak with others in real time. The potential for immersive, interactive experiences that enthrall and inspire people everywhere will grow as computer-generated reality technology develops. Headsets for virtual reality provide access to an infinite universe of immersive experiences that surpass the confines of tangible reality. 
With unmatched realism, these stylish gadgets take users to amazing locations, accelerating journeys and engaging simulations. At the push of a button, people may go to far off places, take part in exhilarating adventures, or just relax in tranquil virtual settings, all from the comfort of their own homes. Virtual reality headsets also offer great promise for teaching, education, and therapeutic applications in addition to being entertaining instruments. Students can use interactive simulations in the classroom to study difficult scientific ideas or take virtual field visits to historical sites. Professionals from a variety of sectors may use virtual reality for immersive training programs, which let them hone their abilities and face real-world problems in a secure setting. Virtual reality technology will only have a greater and greater influence on society as it develops, opening up new avenues for human interaction, learning and creativity. The potential of computer-generated reality goes much beyond simple amusement. This revolutionary technology is put to use in a wide range of businesses, completely changing the way we work, learn and engage with the world. Computer-generated reality is changing the face of modern business and design, from training simulations that immerse professionals in lifelike scenarios to architectural visualizations that bring plans to vivid life. Furthermore, computer-generated reality integration greatly improves the healthcare industry by enabling groundbreaking improvements in surgical techniques, patient care, and medical education. Medical practitioners may practice in a risk-free setting with virtual reality simulations, and patients can get treatment and rehabilitation in engaging immersive experiences. In fact, as computer-generated reality advances, its influence on society becomes more and more significant, providing answers to some of the most important problems we confront in the actual world. The flames of creativity blazed brightly in the furnace of our collective imagination, illuminating the limitless potential of the future. Every day began with the possibility of learning something new as we explored the limits of technology, science and creativity. We welcomed the unknown with a zeal that verged on addiction. From labs teeming with the passionate energy of exploration to brainstorming sessions sparking with the sparks of creativity. The pursuit of invention was a never-ending march toward a point when the lines between what is feasible and what is impossible became only unlikely rather than just a drive for wealth or status. In our unwavering quest for advancement, we saw failure as a necessary stop along the way to achievement, seeing setbacks as chances for development and improvement rather than as barriers to overcome. Every discovery, regardless of how revolutionary or subtle, was the result of many hours of hard work and a desire to go beyond what was previously considered to be possible. With each step ahead, we ventured to imagine a world changed, where obstacles that were once thought impenetrable gave way to the unrelenting flood of human creativity. The future loomed with tempting promise in the crucible of invention, a canvas on which we wrote the hopes and aspirations of generations yet to come. In our unwavering quest for advancement, we saw failure as a necessary stop along the way to achievement, seeing setbacks as chances for development and improvement rather than as barriers to overcome. Every discovery, regardless of how revolutionary or subtle, was the result of many hours of hard work and a desire to go beyond what was previously considered to be possible. With each step ahead, we ventured to imagine a world changed, where obstacles that were once thought impenetrable gave way to the unrelenting flood of human creativity. The future loomed with tempting promise in the crucible of invention, a canvas on which we wrote the hopes and aspirations of generations yet to come. Ethical concerns guided our route with moral clarity and firm conviction amid the maze of decision-making, acting as unshakable sentinels. Every decision we made in the boardroom, or on the field was evaluated in light of the values that served as the cornerstone of our society's conscience. We held ourselves to the greatest standards of ethics and accountability, from how we treated our people to how our goods affected the environment. Moral conundrums were not only roadblocks to be overcome, but also chances to reaffirm our dedication to doing the right thing, even if it meant making a sacrifice or going against the grain. At the core of our efforts was a strong dedication to inclusion and accessibility, which is ingrained in our goal. Every choice we made, from the structure of our digital platforms to the architecture of our physical venues, reflected our commitment to making sure that everyone, regardless of ability or background, could fully engage in our community. 
Our entryways were equipped with wheelchair ramps and tactile pathways made it simple for people who are blind or blind or visually impaired to navigate our areas. Important information was whispered to fingers through braille signs, while audio descriptions created vivid images for the blind. We created virtual bridges to unite people from diverse backgrounds by utilizing screen reader compatibility, captioning services, and user-friendly navigation in the digital sphere. Beyond the obvious modifications, however, our dedication to diversity was ingrained in a culture of respect and empathy that went far deeper. We realized that real accessibility meant more than just making physical adjustments. It meant adopting a different perspective and acknowledging each person's distinct requirements and viewpoints. Differences were not just accepted, but welcomed as sources of strength and enrichment in our society. We created an atmosphere where everyone felt appreciated and empowered to add their voices to the chorus of ideas by encouraging open communication, attentive listening, and a readiness to change and grow. We discovered that our commitment to accessibility and inclusion was not only morally required, but also the cornerstone of a healthy community in which each person could reach their full potential. With the sun disappearing beyond the horizon, our tired group of travelers gathered around the flickering campfire, watching the sky turn into a tapestry of oranges and purples. With faces creased with fatigue and hearts full of resolve, we discussed our past travel experiences and made predictions about what was ahead. Every story is interwoven into the tapestry of our common experience, drawing us nearer as allies on this treacherous journey. Our whispered chats were only broken by the odd gust of wind blowing through the trees around us, a constant reminder of the wide world that waited for us outside the shelter of our camp. The crackling of the fires provided the background to our talks. As the fire burned down and the night grew longer, we found comfort in the calm companionship of our improvised family. We positioned maps in front of us and made preparations for the next several days as we prepared for the difficulties that lay ahead. Even though uncertainty cast a shadow over our path, we were able to take confidence from the relationships that were formed through adversity and a common goal. We greeted the new day and the voyage that lay ahead of us with determination strengthened and hearts are blessed with the prospect of adventure. At the beginning of the computerized age, we stand at the edge of tremendous and unfamiliar regions, where the limits of probability are restricted exclusively by the extent of our creative minds. With every keystroke and snap, we cross the scene of computerized wildernesses wandering into domains where advancement rules and the seeds of tomorrow are planted. In this state of the art existence, innovation serves as a device and passage to domains of information and network beforehand unfathomable. At the core of our investigation lies a tireless quest for understanding and disclosure, a hunger for information that drives us at any point forward into the unexplored world. Finally, we would like to express our gratitude to all of the individuals whose enthusiasm and commitment have enabled us to embark on this incredible adventure. Every contribution, from visionaries to inventors, from programmers to artists, has been crucial in forming the field of computer-generated reality. As we come to the end of this chapter, we are still filled with inspiration from the countless opportunities that lay ahead and the ongoing revolution that technology is bringing about in our society. May the spirit of discovery and ingenuity lead the way to wait till we set off on our next journey.